and welcome to Finextra. I'm Thea George and I'm here with Graham Hatton of Scottish Development International. We're at Cybos 2016 in Geneva and we're talking about regional fintech centres. Graham, thank you for joining me. Good morning, thank you. So lots of regional centres in the UK would aspire to be fintech centres. What do you think differentiates Edinburgh from the others? Scotland has a long history in financial services. Uh, 86,000 people work in the sector throughout the country. So there's a strong concentration in Edinburgh um, in, in banking, asset management. But what we're also seeing is the emergence of a, a strong tech scene in Edinburgh as well over the last 10-15 um, years. Um, linked closely with the, the universities in the city, we've seen the emergence of, of many tech startups such as Unicorns, uh, uh, like Skyscanner and, and Fanduel as well. And also major corporate dot coms as well like Amazon located in the city. And really that, that fusion is creating a, a really a fantastic environment for fintech companies to emerge. Um, the, the large financial institutions can tap into the, uh, the expertise that are coming out of the university, both from a research perspective, also from a talent and graduate perspective as well. But also as well working very closely with the startups that are emerging from the universities who can provide a, a more tailored solution to some of the, the challenges that they're facing in today's uh, financial world. Um, in addition to that as well, you um, have the benefits such as uh, easy access to, to London, major financial hubs, also Europe as well. Um, Edinburgh, Edinburgh in particular has a fast growing airport which, uh, which helps to increase that connectivity um, also into Asia as well with, with um, flights out there. And, then, and finally I would say that, that, that cost as well is obviously a, a big challenge for, for early stage companies in particular as they are keen to develop their, uh, their, their businesses and, and make the, the best use of uh, investment. So Edinburgh can offer both a, a very competitive environment from a talent and a customer perspective, but also from a cost perspective as well. And what kind of support do you think banks and fintechs need if they're going to really take advantage of the benefits of Edinburgh? So we've been working very closely with the Scottish Financial Enterprise, who are the industry body for financial services in Scotland, and their members um, constitute the, the large financial institutions in, in the country. But we've also been working very closely with the, the, the fintechs as well, the, the startups and the emerging companies really trying to understand what, what their needs are and how, how we can help to foster a, a fintech environment in, in Scotland. So that's the, one of the, the key themes that have come out of our recent research is around connectivity. What can we do to, to, to break down some of the barriers between the, the large firms, the startups, um, academia, and really try and create a, a, a melting pot essentially to, to bring all those people together and allow them to, to bounce out ideas off each other, share um, use cases, allow startups to, to better understand what some of the challenges are facing the, the large, uh, large corporates and the large institutions so they're a better place to provide a, a real bespoke solution to, to solve those. So you mentioned use cases, can you share some insights around companies that are already taking advantage of the, of the fintech ecosystem in Scotland? Yeah, so what, what we've found is we've probably got some, maybe 10 or 12 companies who are really leading the way in terms of pure fintech companies as, as you may call them. Um, so many of those companies are uh, started in, in Edinburgh in particular. Um, for example, um, one company, um, the IDCO, focuses on um, identity and how to leverage the identity you hold with your, with your bank to then uh, transfer that across other, other services. Um, you also have a company like uh, Nicholas Financial who have been going for, for 10 years now provide a, an investment wrap platform um, specifically designed for independent financial advisors. It's quite interesting, they were formed by IFAs, around 70 of them, um, who had that challenge and they were really frustrated by this, this technical issue and they've grown rapidly over, over that 10 year period and now employ, I believe, around 160 people in, in Edinburgh. And we're also seeing that, that companies are attracted to Scotland as well from an inward investment perspective. Um, recently, uh, Encompass, an Australian-based company working in the, the regulatory space, set up a, an office in Glasgow. In fact, recently announced that they've uh, received additional investment, both from um, Adcock Group, who are one of their primary investors, but the Scottish Investment Bank, which is the investment body um, run essentially by Scottish Enterprise and the Scottish Government, co-invested alongside Adcock Group. Um, and Encompass raised uh, three million pounds uh, during that, that project and that's allowed them to really to grow um, within Glasgow and take advantage of the, the customer base and um, not just within Glasgow but within the city to really to expand their, their businesses and, and what's an offering. So really what we have is an environment which is attractive to, to investors to come in but also for, for companies to start up and, and grow within the space as well and, and take advantage of all the, the opportunities that I mentioned earlier around talent and access to customers and also wider connectivity. Graham, thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching.